you were talking to the baby? Nope. I was working you. Oh, you knew I was listening? Yeah, I staged that whole thing. Oh, yeah. Lying, cheating, manipulating, using the pregnancy to sink my claws into you. Sounds like me, right? No possible way that I could actually have feelings for the little life that's growing inside me. You know that's not true. I can't do this anymore. Do what? This. What? The constant seesaw back and forth. One minute you're nice, you're sweet. And the next minute you're accusing me of having sex with your brother and trying to pass his baby off as yours. I don't have the energy to defend myself anymore. Um, so... It's over. I'm just, from now on, gonna concentrate on the baby. Okay, there's still a chance the baby is mine, and if I get proof that it is, then I'll give you and the baby everything you need. Oh, that's sweet. I mean, that's a really good offer. But meanwhile, you hate my guts, and I'm not gonna stick around for that, Sonny. Claudia, wait, 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 wait. I don't want you to leave. There's no way I'm staying here. I would rather sleep in John's garage. If you're carrying my child, I want you living under my roof. You always get what you want? I'm asking you nicely. Well, I mean, if I was gonna stay here, we would have to come up with a whole new set of rules. Like what? Like, no more interrogations. It's not good for the baby, Sonny. It ties me up into little knots, and I get that you have suspicions, but, you know, you can't throw it in my face every five minutes. What a... Max and Milo have to tell Rick that he is not ever allowed in this house ever again. If they see him on the property, they throw him out. I hate his guts. I don't want to think about him. All I want to think about is my little boy. Boy? I have a feeling this baby's a boy. You're starting to sound like a mom. What? What are you doing here, Michael? I want to come home, Dad. Where's Michael? Uh, Claudia took him for a walk around the property. Did he know I was coming? Yeah. He decided to go for a walk with Claudia. Well, I feel better and better. He feels terrible about taking off. He just doesn't want to fight with you anymore. And you're running interference. This is exactly what we said we wouldn't do. Michael is pitting us against each other. He's playing on our sympathy. That's why I let Claudia take him for a walk, because you and I need to talk this out. Right, because he told you he wants to move in with you. All I want for Michael is I just want to be safe and comfortable. And I don't want that? Yes, you do. You're, you're trying everything, but, you know, you, what happens? You bring it home from the hospital, and within an hour, he takes off, so whatever you're doing is not working. Fight with me and Michael started. What, what were you discussing? Karate. I, I asked him if he wanted to take some lessons to catch up with Jackson Morgan, who had been taking it together for a while, and he just, he flipped out. It's, it sets Michael off to think that we were, you know, living our lives while he was in a coma. I don't know, I mean, he, he feels left out. I know. And. That's what I was doing, and he just, he freaked out, son, and he did exactly what Patrick warned us about. Michael has some, he has some serious anger issues, and I mean, he, it's raw emotion. Then it makes sense to take him out of a loaded situation. I don't mind him living here for a little while. Okay, but what if he's testing me? You know, just, what if I say, okay, you can live with your dad, and then he turns around and claims that I only said that so I could have a family with Morgan and Jax? You're getting ahead of yourself. No, I'm not, because you have no idea how hard it is for me to hear him say that I have a family without him. I know it's tough, but maybe you and Michael need some distance, at least for now. And I'm worried about your high-risk pregnancy. You're not supposed to be dealing with any stress. Michael needs consistency. You know, he, he needs emotional rehabilitation, not just physical. Be honest, how much of, of this is for Michael's own good and how much of this is that you miss him and you don't want to give him up? 
I could just part of my reason for wanting Michael home with me is purely selfish. Absolutely. I am beyond thrilled that he is okay. I mean, when I look at him and I see it's, him walking around and talking. It's a miracle that he's even walking and talking. And he's also having to adjust to life, and that is turning out to be a lot harder than I realized. I can make the transition a little easier. He's got to have boundaries, Sonny, and I can give him that. I can, too. We made a deal. You know, we made a deal that Michael was going to live with me, Jackson, Morgan. But sometimes, sometimes, you know, uh, deals can be broken. Is it so wrong for him to live here? Hey, we're back. Mom, I'm sorry I took off. I know you were worried I should have called or something. I'm just glad you're okay. We're gonna have to work something out though. Because this can't this can't happen again. That's easy. Let me live with you, Dad. I already made an agreement with your mother that you're gonna be living with her. What, I don't get a vote? Your parents get to decide. And Jax thinks you should live with us as well. Well, what about Claudia? She is just as much of a parent as Jax is. What do you think? I think that you should live with your mother for now. <laughs>